What's going on guys? I'm Alan and welcome back to our DIY playground build. Let me spin the camera around. I'm going to show you what we're going to be working on today. In the last episode, we got all four of these posts anchored in concrete. Be sure to go back and check that out if you missed it. Um, in today's video, we're going to basically be putting like a frame around this. So that's going to be kind of the main project. So here in just a minute, I think we're going to go ahead and take these temporary supports off. The concrete's nice and dry now. Um, yes, we'll take those supports off and we're going to run two by sixes from here to here. Another one on the outside from there to there, one on the outside from there to there, and another one from there. So that's going to be kind of the main goal. If we get that done, we may work on putting some uh, floor joists across in the middle here. Since it's kind of a small structure, six by four, it's not going to take too much lumber. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started on that. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, we got all the braces off and everything's still standing, so we're off to a good start. So we're going to measure up uh, five feet from probably this post right here, and our, the top of our platform is going to be about five feet off the ground. So yeah, we'll make a mark on this one at five feet, and then we'll make sure we have a nice level uh, spot over here, and then we'll run our two by six straight across there. It's going to be 72 inches from outside to outside, or uh, six feet. All right, let's go ahead and get that measured and see if we can get it on there. The outer frame is complete, and the next step is going to be to measure uh, where I'm going to put my floor joists. I think I'm going to have them every foot, so we'll measure them every 12 inches. But we have this part done. All right, let's go ahead and get started on the floor joists. I think I'm done working on this project for today. I did get all of the floor joists installed and the frame, so that's all done. And I also went ahead and marked off where I'm going to cut all these off. Um, this one was the shortest one, so we're just going to cut them all down to the height of that one. Uh, as far as what's next on this project, uh, I need to, I'm going to do this in the next video, I need to build a kind of a post like right in here, and another one right here. And then there'll be like handrails, you know, on either side and then an opening right here where the slide's going to come down. So I got to kind of frame that up 
have to do that before you put the decking on because the decking has to go around it. Uh, I'm also going to frame up some sort of support kind of running between this joist and this one because I'm going to have another post coming up right here that the uh, swing set beam is going to go off of. I thought about just doing it off one of the corners, but to me that seems weird because then the beam isn't like in the center, um, so I feel like it just look weird. So I'm going to go ahead and build it off the center and make a little support there and then over there and then another post. Let me know what you guys think of that. If any of you guys are better builders than me that are watching this, feel free to let me know if you have any suggestions. Um, yeah, same thing on this side. We're going to put another post right there and right there. And these aren't going to go all the way to the ground. They're basically just going to come off of the bottom of the 2x6 on the inside. And then there's going to be a ladder coming up right here. Um, then handrails on either side, of course. And all these 2x4s over here, these are going to be my handrails. Hopefully, <laughs> that's the plan with them. And if you're curious what tools I'm using, I'm using the DeWalt 20 volt impact driver and these three inch deck screws to put everything together. Those have been working really well. They have you know, T25 head on them, so they don't strip or anything. Uh, just a bunch of Irwin clamps. Uh, those have been really useful. Uh, over here, I've been making all my cuts on this. This is the Delta miter saw. So really, really little nice miter saw that my dad gave to me. And then also this um, little cutting platform that he built. That's been really handy. Been using that a lot in the past few days. And just been using the lawnmower and lawnmower trailer just to haul the lumber and everything from that shop up there and tools all the way down to here just to kind of get everything a little bit closer. Okay, um, I think that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and do some of those framing things that I was talking about. And then once the jigsaw comes in, we'll be ready to go ahead and do some decking. Uh, on top there and I guess I should get the ladder built pretty soon too so it's a little bit easier to get up and down um, yeah so it should be a few more videos in this series but hopefully it'll go kind of quick thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one